I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Cahokia Mounds in the Midwest. I take three fingers here on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across. I come back to the left and I'm going to take two fingers and put a dot. And now I'm going to draw slightly wavy line, curve line, straight diagonal down. I come right up here again and put a dot. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, connect, then go back to the dot and I'm just going to draw slightly wavy line over to the right off the page. Take two fingers again, on the left put a dot. We're going to draw a slightly wavy line down, bring it up, curve line up, straight line over, curvy line down, diagonal, and connect. Come right about here and put a dot, draw that line down again, connect, come back to the dot, straight line, curve it down, Keep going and off the page. Okay, now we are, believe it or not, ready to color this in. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we are going to use the side of our crayons. If you have one, I've got fat green here and I'm just going to fill in the space with my green crayon. Now the thing that's important to remember about the Cahokia Mounds is that they literally melted into the landscape for a really long time. They're an archaeological site and AD 700, thousands of years ago. But when you looked at the site, you couldn't even really tell, it just blended into the landscape. So we're going to use the side of a crayon to get that first big block of green in. Then we go over that with our loop-de-loop. -loop. And when it's all green, because kind of, you kind of want to make it look almost invisible. So you're going to do this all loop-de-loop. -loop. Come up and do the second layer. This is another layer. Loop-de-loop. -loop. And it was such a slow rise up of the mound that when you looked at it, and if you weren't looking for it, you would totally miss it. So that's why we're doing this kind of coloring. Then, take your blue, if you have a fat blue, and we're just going to color in the top. And that also is going to be kind of disappearing. You kind of want to leave it a little bit open for clouds. And then the last thing we're going to do is take a brown and just loop-de-loop -loop our walkways. And again, almost all of this, if you looked at it, disappeared into the landscape. That's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my Cahokia mounds all colored in. There's 70 mounds preserved near St. Louis, Missouri and Southwest Illinois. And it's a designated UNESCO historical site. One of the oldest archaeological sites for indigenous people in uh, the Western Hemisphere. Okay, bye-bye.